Okay, here it goes. I've got it in neutral. I'm going to lift it up. Let's see if it comes right out. Let's go. Sorry. There you go, beautiful. That was easy. Praise the Lord. And that's what it looks like right there. It makes a difference having it in neutral. And uh, that's how everything looks right there. I got the just pulled off haven't checked anything looks pretty good looks like a fork stayed in there so I'll have to see what that means might be the reverse fork that's really chewed up sorry about that right there that one's really chewed up so if I rotate around that's a, where it was the top position when I first opened this up there's some chewed up there chewed up there six and chewed up there seven oh that's we've already seen that chewed up one a little bit chewed up in there and that's the first one that's where it all the first one I saw right there okay all right, but everything else is pristine. No chips, nothing. I might just go with. You see some metal shavings all over that. It's about the only metal shavings I've seen. Of course, you see some wear—50 years of wear on there. And coming on over to the other arm, you can see some shavings around on that. A little bit of wear. Over here, no shavings on there, a little bit. I don't know why they're all at the top. You can see a little bit of wear on the arm there. And you can see some shavings over there. All in all, it looks pretty good for 50 years. I'm not going to mess with that. Amazingly, there is no... I found no metal shavings in there. It looks pretty clean. Didn't find any shavings. That means everything's in pretty good shape. Which I'm happy about. the one that was chewed up right there. Huh. Everything else looks pretty good. Really good. Yeah, there's the one that was chewed up. Okay. Well, to find out what gear that is, see if it's worth even messing with. Everything else looks so good. It's probably reverse. Yeah, it's the reverse lever there. Probably got chewed up somehow. When it slammed back, well, no, I don't know what would chew that up. 
Alrighty. Ooh, the set screw and the shifter port came out. Well, it was loose or just hanging. Pretty much not quite like that, but just barely in there. And as a result, this was moving back and forth. And I think that's what caused, I don't know, might have caused the uh, damage on one of the bolts that's holding the uh, tail shaft housing on. So I'm going to put a little got some fingernail polish. I don't want to use anything heavy like blue Loctite or something. I'm just going to put maybe this will hold it in there. Just want to put something on there to kind of hold it a little bit but easy to break loose. Somebody suggested oh, I should go down further than that. Right in there. Oops. Put it down there instead. Nah, I think I'll wipe that off and start over. That's a little bit too much. Wipe that off. Now, yeah, there we go. Let's put a little bit right in there. more. My wife won't mind. She let me borrow this from her. That should do it. I'm thinking. Get that started in there. Get that set screw in there. Take that out, make sure it's lined up. Okay, that's lined up right there. Didn't lose anything. so easily the first time I saw that. There we go. I'm left handed. I'm not a lefty. Take it on in there. It was just hanging out. Just hanging by a few threads. So there, snug. And that's how it should look. All right, it should do it.